All right, guys, so we're going to go over the patches that I bought for my jersey. And I got this uh, It's all-star game patch right here, and it seems to be official. Got it on eBay. It was about uh, a little less than 20 bucks, I'm pretty sure. And um, so this is the one that you actually see all the players. They've been wearing them right now. Um, and um, not even I don't even think the, um, the $300 jersey comes with this patch. So it's good to have this. You know, it's a pretty, it's pretty cheap. And you can, you know, you can have basically what the players are using now. Um, my uh, my jersey, the Nike jersey that I bought for 120, doesn't have the LA side patch either. So I bought this as well. This was like 15 bucks maybe. And then I bought the um, Cody Bellinger numbers. These were about eight dollars each, and I also bought them on eBay. Um, seem they're really good quality. It looks like uh, you can um, get them ironed on easily uh and then you can stitch around it if you want i won't be going that far as far as getting like stitches done on it like around um but you can if you wanted to uh just go to like a jersey store or something like that uh and then i also got the kobe patch the kobe patch um that you've seen the lakers been wearing i just wanted to add a cool touch to my uh jersey because you know um it's pretty nice having um you know, it's, you know, LA Pride and everyone out here uh, would probably show some love to that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, this is pretty much it. So we'll go over it real quick. Uh, Kobe patch, it's the official one. So it was like 20 bucks. They have a lot of fake ones, though. I mean, either. I mean, how fake can you get? You know, it's just a patch. But that was 20 bucks. This was 20 bucks. This was uh, like 15 put together. This was like another 15. So... It was about, I want to say, like, less than $50, all right? $50. So you add that, $50 plus your $120 jersey. You have a $170 jersey, and you'll have a very unique jersey that nobody else has, all right? Hey, guys, how's it going? Today, we're going to upgrade my $120 Nike jersey. This is the, uh, not the on-field, but this is the replica right what they call i don't know what they call replica because i mean some people think the word replica it means fake but replica just means it's you know it's a one-to-one -one almost um almost like an exact copy um not the real deal like the 350 dollars jersey that you might get from nike all right so just real quick um whoa nike right switching it up on us like that crazy majestic's been around for so long and i remember um was it russell i think used to make jerseys before that um rawlings at one point but um let's just go over this this jersey in particular the 120 dollars version real quick the quick rundown on it um i bought this straight from the mlb website when it came out so I'm pretty happy about it. I know it's legit. You know, if you buy one on eBay or something, I don't think the fake ones have came out yet, but um, I know I got a real product because I got it from the website. So real quick, um, they do have the Nike logo on the front. Eh, I tell you, I really didn't like the idea when, it first, when they first announced it, but it's kind of growing on me. I'm just really glad that the Dodger jerseys don't have another patch on the left like the Lakers do. Um, advertising some dating site like Bumble, you know what I'm saying? So real quick, we got this tag over here, which is ironed on, um, and it's a it's a Nike label. Looks like it's made in Guatemala. All right, the fabric on it is pretty nice. I actually I I I just washed it, so I did bleach it, and it came out good, nice and clean. Didn't really mess it mess it up at all. Um, so we'll start over here. The Nike logo is ironed on, okay? It is ironed on, uh, it's pretty nice. It has like a little, like, almost like a 3D effect, like it pops out a little bit. The front letters are also ironed on, but it has like a stitch to it, like an actual stitch. It's almost like they stitched the iron on before they put it on the jersey, and then they just uh, heat transferred it on, okay? Um, you also have a label down here, which is also ironed on, and you know, it just says uh, Nike merchandise, gen engineered to the exact specifications of championship athletes, and a little spot for your name, 
Put your name on it so your little brother doesn't steal it from you, okay? The back has a woven label and it is stitched. Um, that's the MLB logo. The back letters and number um, are also ironed on, but this one, unlike the front, it has this, it has like, it's been printed on, on the edges, like if it was stitched. So it looks like the front, which has a stitch, but the back is actually not stitched, but it does have like a little crazy little effect on it. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that on there, but it's not stitched, okay? If you wanna be cool and um, go get it stitched, you can take it to somebody that does jerseys, you know, baseball jerseys for little leagues. They can probably do that for you. And on the inside, um, another tag, all right? Has a tag, the you know, instructions, washing instructions, the care instructions, and a little Nike little tag, all right? Um, that's pretty much it. I wore this on the opening day of spring training, which was cool. Um, I wore a shirt under and you know, it's, it's, it stayed pretty cool for the most part. That day had rained earlier, earlier, but it still turned out being a pretty nice day. That was the Dodgers versus the Giants at the Giants Stadium in Scottsdale. All right, so real quick. I love this jersey, I love belly, I love my Dodgers, but I'm not gonna spend $350 on a jersey that, you know, I'll get some nacho stains on or, um, you know, just it'll just get dirty. And I'd much rather not spend 350. So I went with the 120. However, it is blank, there's no side patches. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this a badass jersey now. Now I bought these numbers over here, which are exactly about five inches, I think. I got them on eBay. You guys will see the link at the bottom. Uh, this dude, he just sends them in an envelope, nothing fancy. I don't know if he makes them or, or he works for somebody that made them for the Dodgers at one point, but they're really nice. They're really nice. Um, and these are the exact font that the Dodgers are using. So then I ordered the LA patch, which is gonna go on one sleeve. And I ordered the All-Star Game patch, which is also gonna go on another sleeve. And I got myself a Kobe Bryant patch. Kobe Bryant patch, okay. So we got the All-Star Game patch, all right, 2020. Uh, we got the LA patch, all right. And all these are, the patches are embroidered, all of them. The All-Star Game one, the LA one, the Kobe one, it's embroidered. This one is like polyester blend or something. It's really nice. Um, I'm only gonna heat transfer everything. If you wanna be legit, you can, go some, you can go somewhere and have them stitch around it. That will be cool and that will make it seem more authentic. But I must have spent like $50 on all these patches, including the Kobe one. Um, so I'm gonna go from $120 jersey to $170 jersey, but you know, I'm getting some good stuff here. I, I'm getting some really good value here. I don't like the real, you know, the on-field jerseys because they're longer. Um, and yeah, you know, it's just, I'm not gonna tuck in my shirt. Like I understand that they wanna make them exactly the way the players get them, but I'm never gonna tuck in that shirt. And I just, it's just gonna look like a huge dress on me. I'd much rather not. Um, this is the jersey of my preference. So really simple, got the patches, got the iron on, we got the iron, got a little iron, a desktop iron board that I'm gonna use. Um, Real quick on these patches, the ones that the Dodger ones, they come on this like card, and when you pull it off, it has like a sticker and it still leaves some residue, but that doesn't matter, okay? So don't worry about it. Just put it on your shirt, um, and then you iron it, and you're gonna be all good. You won't see that, so you're, you'll be solid, okay? So, real quick, all right, guys. So, one of the first things we're gonna do is uh, we're going to lay um, the jersey down, make sure that you have a clean surface. And you want to put some type of piece of cardboard or a cardboard paper inside of it, inside your jersey. The reason for that is because when you just lay down the sleeve, that's where the actual uh, cut is. So you don't wanna like, you just don't wanna mess up here, all right? Um, so I just got like this cardboard paper that came in actually one of the, um, in one of the patches. I'm gonna fold that. Just put that straight directly on there. Pretty easy, just you know, line up with the jersey. You want to make sure that 
it's right in the middle. There's like this crease right here, the stitching for um, on the jersey. You just want to go dead center. And I don't know. It, it looks like um, the it looks like the guys' jerseys. I've seen them use them. They're um, they're actually they're actually um, the pa the patches are up a little higher. I remember with the majestic jerseys, they were a little bit lower. Um, I think the from over here, like they're they're starting to use I think like three inches above the um, your shirt sleeve. So we'll do that. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is iron it. You you know you want to flatten it out as much as you can. All right. So quick little iron. All right. Let's see. Um. Make sure you put. On your setting, put polyester. Okay, there's a setting on your on your iron. Um, it should say polyester. You don't want to mess up your shirt. So, this shirt is made out of polyester. Use a polyester setting. All right. All right. So we're gonna start with the right sleeve, and that is where the All Star patch comes in handy. All right, so I'm going to start with the all-star patch and that's on the right sleeve. All right, pretty simple. I'm just gonna lay it on there. It points, it has a center point. So that's that's gonna be nice to help. It'll really help me actually um, to make sure that the patch is straight. And then, all right, measure about three inches. All right, looks pretty straight to me. All right. Just leave it there. I'm going to put a shirt on top. And it, there's no directions for the patches, but um, I saw some other video of people just putting iron on patches on shirts and it's, you know, it looks like 25 seconds, okay? So we'll heat this dude for 25 seconds. I am applying pressure to it. All right, there is some pressure there. It is pointing straight, I'm good. All right guys, I wanna just stress real quick that there is a piece of plastic before you put the patch on your shirt, okay? Um, it's a pretty hard piece of plastic, just this one still has it, all right? You're gonna peel it off and you're been, you're going to be solid, okay? So it's like a shiny piece of plastic. That's the one you're going to remove. And even after you remove it, the, you know the uh, like the one on the All Star game had it, it had like an official patch or something sticker. Even after you remove the plastic, just take it off as much as you can. It's not a big deal. Uh, you won't see it, okay? Um, but yeah, just make sure that you do remove the tough plastic that's over here, okay? Okay. Here's a little close up. All right. Whoa, look at that. Looks so good, guys. So good. All right. See that? Okay. Still hot. Shirt's very hot. Um, let's take a look underneath it. Could, you can't, you could barely, barely see anything. It's good. Solid. Pull it out. And there you go. Check that out. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Go on to the next one. All right. This is what your patch should look like once you remove it. As you can see, it doesn't feel that sticky. All right, guys. But it really is. Once, once you heat it, this thing just sticks on there like freaking chicks on a magnet. All right. All right. So here we are. This is the line I'm talking to you guys about that you have to line up straight, okay? Now the center of this patch is this triangle right here, okay? In the L, like right on the LA. The triangle in the middle of the A, just face that towards this line over here, okay? And then you're going to do three inches on top of this, on top of the sleeve. So three inches on top of the sleeve. I measured my uh, four fingers, it was about three inches. Um, I'm gonna do it, I start from here, and then I do the three inches, okay? 
So it's, it's, it's almost like 3.75. All right, so I'm gonna line this up over here. Okay, line up the jersey. Okay, line up the A, go down, do my four fingers. Okay, go a little higher, four fingers. There it is, just right there. Okay, so I'm gonna lay it as good as possible. Lay it as well as possible. Um, just make sure that the, the lettering has to ma same match as like the jersey here too. You don't want like, you don't want it to be crooked, all right? So just, you know, it looks like, it looks pretty straight to me, okay? And just lay it down, then you start the heating process. All right guys, so now we're gonna do the numbers part, which is pretty tricky, okay? It's pretty simple though, you know, I just looked up the video, uh, like a picture of um, Cody wearing his jersey at spring training and just kind of figure out where the numbers go, right? So first off, you wanna make sure that you line up your jersey straight, okay? Line it, line it up straight, and basically, if you wanna know if it's straight, you match this part of the number with this line, that's how you know it's straight. Now, as far as the placement goes, I'm gonna show you guys what I just discovered, okay? So, the number has to start after the G, right after the G. So it, you know, it takes over this little area right here. Okay. Now this part of the number, this side part of the number is supposed to connect with this button. Okay. So I have it, I actually have it too high here. I'm going to move it. I'm going to move it down. I know there's no button there, but the button hole, there will be a button there. Um, okay. There we go. Perfect. So we're matching that with the bottom button underneath the D. Okay. So we're matching that right there. Now just make sure that you that it's straight. So this has to be parallel to this, okay? So I'm gonna do that right now and then I'll start the ironing process. As far as these numbers go right here, as far as the spacing, I'd say about, you wanna, you wanna stay about three quarters of an inch space. That looks pretty good. That's about three quarters of an inch, all right? And then just, now you're gonna be straight. Forget about the jersey being straight. You're already gonna depend on your number being straight and you're gonna match this right here, the five with the three. That's how you're gonna have a good one. All right, so let me just make it perfect. Iron on and then we should be solid. All right guys, real quick, I just did find something out that will be helpful. The jersey already has like lines, you know what I'm saying? So see these lines on your jersey? Just kind of, this, this, how you're, this is what's gonna help you if you guys are straight, okay? So that's still on that line. The, the three's on that line right there. And then the five's still on that line. It looks like we, we can go a little higher. I'll move it up higher, okay? And then we can start the process. But that is very helpful. All right, looks good. Looks like they ha didn't move at all, okay? Put it back on there. They're looking good, all right? Apply some more heat. Remember guys, um, you can do, it's, you know, like 25 seconds of good pressure is good, but you know, you can never do too much. And as long as you have a shirt over it, um, you're gonna be solid. I mean, if anything, it, they just go, you know, they go on and stick some more. Um, so you can never do too much heating, uh, but you could do too little heating. So do at least 29 seconds of like some hard rubbing, okay? Like pressing while you're actually ironing on. Um, but remember the first time you iron on, the first time you go over with, with the iron on on these red numbers, so be very careful because you don't want them to move. They're not, they're, like I said, they're not like the MLB patches. So they, um, they're not as sticky, okay? So just try that. Um, I'm, I'm, I do more than 29 seconds. I do like a minute, honestly. So you can do that if you want. All right, let's have a look at it. Boom, check that out, solid. That thing, you know, see that mark right there? It's from my shirt, because uh, you know, the stitching on my shirt, but that, that'll go away, don't worry about that. But check it out guys, easy. Look at that, nothing's on there. It's not lifting at all. I'll go over it again so I can get rid of this, these creases over here, but it has nothing to do with the patch, all right? See, it's moving with the jersey, all right? It's good, just heat it on some more. All right guys, I just finished it, I removed it. Wow, solid, really nice. Really nice. I did notice uh, when I was putting the three, the edge was lifting up a little bit. So just put, apply more pressure on the edges just to make sure. All right. 
all the edges, all the corners, just apply extra extra pressure just to make sure it sticks on there. All right, guys, the last and final step for my jersey is uh, the Kobe patch. And um, this one is, uh, you know, it really it really hits the heart of, um, of you know, LA fans. And um, I thought it was cool. Uh, I thought it'd be really cool to put this on my jersey, just, you know, commemorate Kobe. Uh, he was such a big part to the city and the team. And um, it just, you know, I think it adds like a nice touch. Uh, that's also cool that, you know, the jersey's made by Nike now, and that was Kobe's sponsor, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it was a tough decision where to put the actual patch um, for me, uh, but I decided to put it on the right sleeve, which would be uh, the same sleeve that the Dodgers used uh, last year for the um, the Nuke patch. So I'll put it down here. It's going to be in between this line right here and the MLB logo right dead center, and should look sweet, all right? Just want to stress real quick, uh, don't don't move your shirt immediately. Just let it cool off a little bit. Not only because it's hot, but you just don't want to mess. You don't want to mess with the patch, okay? But that's dead set on there. You just don't want to mess with it. Just let it cool off and dry. Let that adhesive dry, and you should be good. Okay, guys, and this concludes the video. I am finished with ironing all my patches and here's the end result look at that beautiful the red numbers are actually pretty they're like shiny too so it's really good quality stuff um there's my right side which is sick it's got the all-star patch and the kobe patch then the left side i got the la logo all right so all this is pretty solid beautiful and just save yourself at least 150 bucks okay and you got your own touch you actually created the jersey yourself and yeah beautiful all around good jersey i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm going to put the links at the bottom so you guys can purchase everything uh same ones that i got so i'll, sh I'll, sh I'll send you guys a link from the dudes that i bought it that um were on ebay and just real quick just to go over it Again, um, all the patches that I put on were actually sewn. They were all sewn. They were all stitched. So they're good quality stuff. Um, and yeah, looks beautiful. Check it out. Okay. Dead center. Dead center. There's the numbers. Cool. I appreciate your guys' time. I, you know, I hope you enjoyed this and um, yeah. Go Dodgers, go Blue. Hope we have a great season. See you guys. There you have it, guys. Check it out. Beautiful. It's clean. Nice. Smooth. Cheap.